be right with you in a minute. Just gotta find my, oh, you know what? Let me see if this works. It did. What's up? It's your boy Camo, AKA New Gene on another rendition of the PC Breakdown. Got a good one for you. It's coming at you right about now. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> Just gonna grab my wipes here, move some things out the way. I'm gonna show you guys uh, a little brief snapshot of the tools that we will be using for this teardown and a little backstory behind this PC. I did come across this PC just outside, laying on the side of the street. So I was, oh, you know what? Let's just crack it open, see what's in it. Um, I don't know what year it is or like anything like that, but this is a brief snapshot of the tools we'll be using. Uh, I know one of my drills are going dead, so I just grabbed another one that is a Nikita. The Nikita is back. We got a Craftsman. So, yep, like I said, got a little quarter inch on that thing right there. And then I think I actually threw a Phillips on this one just so you wouldn't have to really keep interchanging bits and stuff like that. Plus, I, like I said, I knew one of them were going dead. I actually brought a can of air aerosol i think you call it or whatever but bought it a little uh for dust in different situations like that inside the pc but yep so quickly uh it's just about four screws two right there one right there one right there and then there's two on the other side now you will need a quarter inch to get in there but like like i said i didn't really know what to expect with this unit uh, I know it's like something that somebody may have put together uh, from what I could tell it seems like it's a it isn't really an industry standard PC or something like that it's probably something that somebody customized put together for somebody I saw there were uh, a few stickers on the outside of it and things like that that was uh, kind of significant I think it belonged to somebody who was maybe early on in I think maybe PC gaming or something like that this is definitely like a older unit you can tell by the case the fans and different stuff like that so i wasn't really expecting much out of this but it was just something to do and you know i love doing it it's fun like if you, if you don't get if you guys don't know it's always fun to just you know what i mean tear into something get a screwdriver uh, a couple different bits and just start going at it <laughs> like it, 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 the joys you will find from it it's very relaxed and very soothing but yeah, like I said, two screws on that side, two screws on that side. You could pop that panel off right here. I got hung up on the fan a little bit, but you know, it's easy peasy. Just pop that clip right out and you know, the whole thing slides out. So that is their case fan right there. And as you guys seen in the intro, the uh, fan lights up blue. My camera actually died right there, but right here, I'm gonna try to get you guys a better look on the inside of it to show you guys before we start tearing down the pieces, uh, everything that I was kind of trying to look in there. As you can see, it was full of dust, full of stuff. I was checking around, make sure it didn't have any bugs or anything like that lingering or anything. Cause like I said, I did, I did find this on the side of the road and stuff like that. I had my alcoholic wipes. I had my spray dust and all that other stuff just so I can clean it down as I went. And, you know, I didn't want to touch any really, really filthy, dirty surfaces and stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah, get our handy dandy air and just blast, blast whatever loose dust and everything that we can kind of get out of there before we start tearing into it. I wanted to kind of have that on 
on hang because like as you guys know the last last video we did like this had a pretty dusty pc but it wasn't too bad and you guys let me know in the comment section and stuff like that if you guys do like this type of stuff i can continue to try to bring it to the channel and stuff like that it's just me randomly opening up pcs taking it apart seeing what's in there like i said i did i had no idea what would be in this pc so like you know what i mean i was just grabbing stuff out for the parts man i think right here i was trying to uh get this sound card removed Took me a little second, but I, I ended up popping it out, cracking a clip. I, I didn't plan on keeping this case, so I was like, it doesn't really matter if I break it or mess it up, which you guys will probably see in a little bit. Like the, the end results of how this thing in is crazy. So you guys definitely want to make sure you stick around to the end of the video. But that is the sound card that I popped out of there. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, this is an older rig, so I wasn't really expecting too much. I was just grabbing some stuff out of it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna test all that stuff later, just miscellaneous parts and different stuff like that that you may not find everywhere, or just easily available for certain stuff. And, and it's cool because, you know, PC parts, like, you know what I mean? You can always use them for something or side projects or anything, especially now with the way like everything is so techy, like you can always use just different parts. And, I, and, and for me, I'm big on recycling and trying to just save stuff and stuff like that. So like, I'll see one of these on the side of the road. I don't want it to just go into like some type of dump or something like that. That is the graphics card right there. I don't really know what kind of graphics card this is. I know it's like a lower end graphics card, but it did have VGA, HDMI and DVI and a little fan right there. And, uh, and it's some cool sinks and different stuff like that. Now, I was thinking actually when I was uh, pulling that, I was like, oh man, maybe you could like pair that with some type of raspberry or something like that. I think that would be like a great little card for something in that situation. Pop those Ram stick Ram cards out real, really fast. Like, you know, the Ram is always the easiest thing to take out. And I believe it's like uh, two, four gig uh, uh, rip saw, rip jaw, something like that. Ram joints DDR3 or something like that. And I, I, it's always cool for me to see like the different uh, Ram cards because it's like, you know what I mean? Just the evolution of like where we are in PC gaming, how they just transition from like that to, you know, how crazy they get now. Right here, I was taking out the uh, power supplies, just four screws, just to free it up so I can kind of wiggle it around as I pop off the rest of the cables and everything like that to get that out and of course it slid right out and I kind of moved this aside just to try to get myself a little more room I think in the box I was like I don't want to take this out just yet I just wanted to kind of free it so I could kind of move it around if I needed to next thing I was uh, trying to tackle was these two dual DVD RW uh, Anos uh, something like that I think it's a uh, I can't think of the name of it but I'll pop it out in a second but those two uh, rewritable DVD drives, I wanted to pop those out, showing you guys that it is like four screws, I uh, think two on one side, two on the other side. And once you uh, kind of free them from those screws, they slide right out pretty easily. Now, of course, this, like I said, is probably somebody's custom case or something like that. So they kind of shoehorned as much as they could in there, whatever they were trying to do and accomplish. So I, I, I knew there was no real direct way i couldn't just go online and just look up the screw pattern or what screws in the whole machine and stuff like that so like i said i wanted to have two drills on hand i actually brought out an entire box of additional bits just in case but as you can see two rewritable dvd drives popped them out and then i think the hard drives at the bottom were just giving me a fit <laughs> they were giving me a fit so i was like you know what I'm gonna just yank this uh, card reader out. And I thought this was a really, really nifty card reader. You don't see these in machines as much as you do now. I mean, it's, it's easy, but everybody goes for sleep. But, but yeah, look at that. Look how, like, just the different options and different stuff like that on that. I mean, I know it's pretty much obsolete. Everybody uses cloud now, but I always like seeing certain stuff like that from just a different era of uh, PCs and stuff. And like, as I was doing this, I thought, <clears throat> I'm like, man, I got a lot of SATA cables and different stuff right here, so like I definitely want to hang on to that. But I wanted to show you guys uh, me taking the CPU out first. Right here, I grabbed my second cam, and I just wanted to show you guys kind of in there how like where the screws were and just what I was looking at as I was trying to um, take it apart, just to give you guys some extra like 
video <laughs> but yeah like right there and right there is where the two screws were where i had to like take those out so i could get to the uh heat sink or whatever you want to call it and then right there was that hard drive that was giving me a fit show you guys a little bit of the power supply there's a 450 watt just giving you guys a better look with some of the stuff moved out the way so you can kind of see what type of motherboard and everything is in there So yeah, once I free this uh, fan, it's a cool master, nothing too crazy. Just your regular degla heat sink or whatever. This this part right here was a little weird to me when I like started to um take the CPU out. It was actually like uh, electrical tape around it. I, I thought that was weird. I had never seen anything like that before. It was kind of making me nervous on if the CPU was even working or not. And you can't see it right there, but it is actually an AMD CPU. Um, I can't really think offhand right now the actual brand, but it is a, uh, not brand, but the actual uh, chip or whatever, but it is an AMD chip. And right there is when I decided to, you know, try to free the uh, power supply. I was like, oh, let me get all these SATA cables, everything out the way. All that stuff, open up this, take the uh, screws out of that for the hard drive. Just finishing up. Trying to grab as much stuff as I can, everything for the parts bin. Just, just different stuff I know that somebody else maybe can use for a rig or just different stuff like that. Just anything that I can just have on hand for somebody, maybe a fan or two or something like that. Cause like, I feel like a lot more people are starting to get into PC building and different stuff like that. And you know, with that, <clears throat> it's always that next uh, transition where people start getting rid of stuff. And like, you know, I mean, you don't always have to go buy brand new. Sometimes you can buy secondhand, just little stuff that you may not, you know what I mean? Necessarily like SATA cables, PC fans, just little stuff like that. Like I just like to have on hand just in case, you know, somebody definitely doesn't, somebody doesn't want to really go the new route when I kind of get a second hand just to cut down on some of our footprint. So once again, we back on the handy cam and I just want to show you guys what it was looking like. Pretty much stripped this beast of everything. We had these two hard drives left. I think these are uh, two one terabytes or something like that. Just showing you guys where they're hung up. I think I actually popped the clips that make them slide out easy and it just gave me a fit. And at this point, I was just so frustrated. Like I was sweating, I was upset. I was like, yo, I cannot get these hard drives out. So I was like, I'm gonna take these screws out and I'm gonna just go crazy. I'm gonna get this hard drive out. <laughs> As you can see, the plates are all bent back. It's one screw left, but yeah, I got it out. Like I, I'm definitely gonna get it out. Like I was like, I cannot end this video without me freeing these hard drives out of this. And they were still being a jerk, but I got them out. Show you guys right there try to get into the camera a little bit but yeah but yeah they were a nightmare <laughs> definitely a nightmare there you have it that's going to do it for this one we appreciate you guys for tuning in tapping into the community and everything all that great stuff don't forget to like comment subscribe and do all that stuff that helps forward and progress the channel thank you and appreciate you